Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. The year is 2021. This is my little impromptu video. I know I didn't have this scheduled, but I thought I would come on and share a little message and connect with you and wish you a beautiful 2021. Now, 2021 adds up to five. So five represents freedom. So this is the year of freedom from the control that's been put on us in previous years, centuries and lifetimes. Then if you add one, January one, that's one and one. So five and then one and one equals seven. So seven is a very spiritual number. So this is the time that we come back to this, who we really are, that we are a spiritual being. So hello. So welcome, and I'm going to share a few things with you about uh, where we've come from, where we're going, and what this is all about, and to join everyone in creating the beautiful humanity that we, our hearts have been longing for, and recognizing how we actually are all one. Now that's an interesting concept that we're all one, but I'm going to touch on that. But first of all, I want to ask you, what did 20... 20 represent to you what what were the fears that showed up for you all of your insecurities and and all of yeah fears would would have come up in 2020 it was a real clean out and what it did was made a lot of people many people uncomfortable and now if it wasn't for all the people um, you know, telling you the truth about what's really going on, that it's just a pandemic, that it's COVID's just really the cold, common cold, that there's really a new world order being put in place or attempting to, and in that it, um, in that was, and then that, that was surpassed by Trump and his team to just use this whole scenario to show the truth of the evil bad side and to tell you what's really been going on and to get you to, wake up now for me you can't just tell someone now you would think about you can't be told you would think back if you go back to five to ten years and people have told you some truths but you didn't really hear them because it just that you need to be in a progression of change and you aren't ready to receive something so but if you recognize that that you weren't ready to receive, but now you change and you go, hang on a minute, I'm going to be open to something different. And maybe I don't know everything. Maybe everything isn't how I thought it was. Then you are on that right direction because the world is reversed. What you thought was true is probably a big fat lie. And Oprah might be a man. <laughs> That's my last little rabbit hole I was going down. So, <laughs> so much. There's so much that we've uh, been living in this dream state and now we're waking up that maybe not everything is how it is. And maybe, well, not maybe, I now know for sure the media is just a programming machine. And I feel, I feel sick when I watch it and it doesn't give me any hope. And I don't want to be controlled, so I will not invest my energy. So this is what 2020, 2020 has been about. <clears throat> and the other thing is, for you to change, you need discomfort. It's like walking on hot coals. Your blueprint changes because you look at hot coals and your mind has told you that it is physically impossible to walk across coals and not burn your feet. But your mind is so powerful that you can do that because I've done walking on hot coals and I didn't think it was well, I got to, I put myself in a peak state, which has shifted my mind. And when I walked across, probably made about eight steps across hot burning coals because they were hot burning coals. I felt like I was walking on wet grass. I had to say the words cool moss. So that once you get to that state where you realize that you are, you know, creating your experiences and that your mind has power over everything and you are, you, the way that you are one with the universe is that whatever is in your energy field shows up around you. That is why 
uh, you feel other people's pain. That is why if you have fears in your energy, you will create fearful situations around you. Once we get that our consciousness is creating and that we must change, not wait for the police, not wait for the government, not wait for some other hero, not wait for a politician to make the changes, you energetically make those changes, then that is the energy that creates them to assist you. That's kind of how it works. It starts here first. So it's extraordinary year we've just been through and it's been tough. It's been frustrating. It's been terrifying. It's been enlightening. It's been releasing of fears. This is so much in one year, but it has never been a year like it. It was historical. Okay. So, and there's been separation. We've started to see the good and the evil. Now I woke up to more things. I woke up to, you know, child trafficking, underground tunnels. I woke up to the Satanists really do exist. I knew they existed, but I just didn't know the extent. So I don't know what you woke up to, but I woke up to that. And I woke up that um, we are heading into the age of Aquarius. Yes, the age of Aquarius, the age of humanity. Now, two things with this video. If you, um, if you join, ask to join, I could do a reading for you or a healing for you about something that you need to move on from. So I'm just going to put that out now by the end of the video, which will probably be done in another 15 minutes. I know it's a little impromptu, but anyway. Now, what is, what is being one. What is this how we're, we're all one? Okay. So I'll give you a little example that I remember back many years ago before I did forensic killing. And this is a really good one because I never forget it. I was assisting in a workshop. I was, um, so I was assisting in this workshop. So I didn't expect to get a healing. <laughs> I didn't expect because I'm assisting and, you know, get it to do it for free. And, during that workshop, in fact, I, there's this woman that had come and she was also a, uh, had her own modality and, or she was starting a modality and she did it. She said, oh, here, I'll try my new stuff on you. So she brought in and started to find information in my energy field with her modality. But she said, oh, I forgot my scan list. I forgot. I don't have my stuff here. And then she goes, oh, I'll just make a promise to the body. I'll fix that up later. And she left me. But what she did was, she, I remember her saying to me, she went back to age two. She goes, oh, and that's where the abuse, the abuse goes back to age two, you know, from my father. And what she did was open up Pandora's box and I uh, started to tip I started to tip um, and I ended up basically, it just, I, I just started to lose, you know, it just put me in a crisis mode. And then I was ended up on the floor bawling my eyes out because she didn't, she opened it up. You opened up Pandora's box, she looked in, but she left me in a state that wasn't fixed. It wasn't closed. It wasn't healed. It was just, let me just look at all this trauma. And from the age of two and my body wasn't ready to deal with it. So that happened at the beginning of the workshop. And, um, and then the instructor, I think he did a healing on me to help me because reintegrate. But when you open up so much, you, you make a really, it, may, it caused a big hole. It would have been, yeah, so it was a lot more energy to, to fix me up. Anyway, at the end of the week, I was saying to the, you know, I was, I was okay by that, fairly okay by that point. And I said uh, to some people, I said, listen, the last healing in this class is amazing. It's when the instructor uses all his high level stuff and it's, he uses, he'll, he'll bring together a whole big story. That is a healing that you want. You want this one. So just, you know, and I'm saying this to them and I was really wishing them well. And then when he comes to do that last healing, he says, oh no, this healing's for you, Marisa. And he called me up. And I'm like, and I'll be just hanging out with all the people saying, yeah, make sure you put your hand up for that one. And he called me up. Now that is sort of like law of one, what you wish for another, you wish for yourself. That is how the universe is always responding to you. It's always uh, whatever you're sending out emotionally and with your thoughts, 
is going to come back to you. So if you don't know what's in your thoughts and in your psyche or in your consciousness, you have a look around you because the clues are always there. This is the new humanity uh, year 2021. It's this bringing back the humanity, bringing, waking up to what we've been, how we've been controlled. Most people are good, beautiful souls. We really are. We're just very traumatized and it's, the t it's time to heal ourselves. It's time to heal and wake up. I can't say this enough. Wake up to what you are doing, what systems you are supporting, what foods you eat, what stuff you buy, what you know, what you are just, you know, what you comply to. I still don't comply to uh, the wearing the mask. And I had someone ask me when I went into Target. They must be really strict at Target because they said, uh, they go, mask, you can put your mask on. And I said, yep. And I kept walking, but she was running after me. And then I said to her, so last time I checked, there was no law against breathing in fresh air. And she said, yes, there is. I said, she goes, I said, well, who? She goes, the government. So what she told me, so she sort of goes, oh, what did I just say? She just told me the government says there's a law against breathing in fresh air. Well, I just turned around and said, well, I've got a certificate. And she says, oh, well, you just have to say that. So, or you hold a drink and you're allowed to not wear a mask. So I, I just won't, I, I just won't do that. Everyone else is allowed to be how they want, but I want my free choice and I will not be controlled. All right. So that's, I don't know about you in this. I just can't do it. Can't be controlled. Yeah, I'm a bit of a nightmare. I had, yes, I'll tell you what happened to me. I went up to get to go to Specsavers because I need new glasses. And the girl came up and without even, this has happened to me twice, without even asking me, there was a girl come up and she had that, you know, the um, temperature gun. And she was went to point it at my head without even telling me. And I, and I, I actually get traumatized because they invade my energy. And I'm like, and I always put my hand up, just reflex. And she says, oh, oh, sorry. I said, how dare you? I said, how dare you point a gun at my head? And I, and I, and I had an appointment then. I said, I'm not, she goes, you've got to, and I go, I'm not doing that. Okay, for, cancel the appointment. I'm not coming through. I won't. It's like, I don't know. There's something about me that says don't control me. Uh, and then I keep my freedom. I keep, uh, I'm part of, if I've got freedom in my energy field and no one's going to force me and no one, I'm not going to let my energy be violated, then I will have better energy. I have better energy to heal myself, to be a creator because then I become a nice conduit. I, and that's something else that's been happening on the planet. We are instantly manifesting. The other thing is, and I've got someone there that wants to come on. So whoever that is, we'll get you on in a second. Let's have a look who it is. It's Ag Agar. Okay, so I'll get you on in a second. Yeah, in, and it, we are manifesting instantly. And I've had three people tell me their animals, they were dogs, are so much more calmer for some reason. They said, I don't know, they're just calmer. They're like a different dog. I'm, they are sensing the new peaceful energies of 2021 where the best is yet to come it's going to be strange i find it a bit strange i've gone through trauma my whole life i've been in you know high anxiety inside me and then you're like and then it's it's kind of a weird feeling to go what am i i have nothing to fear because i'm actually the creator of my life in fact i have i'm in the driver's seat of how much peace i want it's it's this really great freeing feeling all right, so that's, uh, yes. Now I need, uh, what do I want to say about that? Um, that's it, being blessed. 2021 is a time to remember gratitude. Gratitude is part of consciousness, it's part of creating. When you say, I'm so grateful, you will get more of that. Thank you for, you know, whatever anything is. Thank you for a message that might be negative. Because if there's negativity, the universe is talking to you. When you go, okay, show me what you're telling me. And you show gratitude and it will become something beautiful. When you get to that point, you are free. Because guess what? When you lack gratitude... Well, how do you get gratitude? Well, take stuff away from you. And you now you go, oh my God, I don't have this anymore. I feel, and then you get brought to your knees back to 
zero point or you go through a rebirthing process. So, and when you learn gratitude, you go, oh, I'm never not going to be ungrateful again. Now, how do you learn gratitude? Boy, I tell you, that is very easy. Have you ever watched uh, people in China sleeping in, they call them cage houses. They have a cage that's not even the length of them and, that, and that's their home in a, in a small apartment. They just have this block and they sleep there. I don't want to learn gratitude to be, if, I'm, if you lived in one of them and you came to Australia and you lived in a, in a tiny one better, you, you go, I'm living in a palace when you live in uh, one of those cages. Or if you happen to be in another country or with eating, trying to find something to eat in dump tips or something like that. So this is why it's important to understand all emotions, all how the world works and how blessed you are. Be grateful for all things and that gives you the power. Um, I, it's a big one for me, gratitude. I need to, uh, I'm, I'm going, I will wake up in the morning. I say thank you for the bed that I have to sleep on, just all of that. And it has been underestimated. And why don't they teach that in school, hey? Why don't they teach the secrets of the universe? Hmm. Well, you, you, we're now learning them. All right. So now let's look at uh, what else I've got to talk about. Oh, yes. So on therapies is a website on therapies.com has a soft launch today my team are on uh, leave i forgot to check in on that so we haven't got the it's on it's a soft launch which means you can go to on therapies and it's a place where you sign up as a therapist of any description doesn't matter it's not it's like any therapist male female you can go on there and then you can then also, this is where clients will go and there's going to be a special for the clients. Clients are the people that say, I want a healing. You stipulate what you need. Your name is confidential. It's not seen. You say, oh, I need a healing for my animal or I need a healing for myself. I need a healing for my house. I need uh, someone just to talk to. Any time of day or night, this is a global, it is a world first. There is no platform out there like on therapies it does not exist and for this for up to the 21st anyone that signs up for a, as a client and does more than a $50 um, healing they request for a, they put a bid in for $50 or and above like you, you stipulate if you want a healing you stipulate your price so if anyone does uh, stipulates $50 or more what's going to happen is we're going to have a list of free healing courses you get a code and you can pick any one of these free healing courses uh, which are up to $200 from the forensic healing website so that will start from today it's just not we just haven't really written it up anywhere yet and I've my team's out celebrating new year i mean we're ahead in australia so that's today on therapies and uh yes and new zealand okay so i'm definitely going to new zealand i'm doing two weeks quarantine so the new zealand dates which is going to be a tiny class so it's going to be the smallest i've ever done so if you want some one-on-one -on -one, if you want to really transform your life for 2021 new zealand is the place to be i'm going to be in auckland morrinsville january 25th to the 31st in Murrinsville, Auckland, you can get in touch with us. Uh, amazing, but I just wanted to—I wanted to get this done in January, and um, I'll be videoing from my quarantine. I'll be showing you around my joint, my little place that I'm staying in. I'll probably have a good time. <clears throat> I normally do. Mm -hmm.